Today, I will guide you that how you can go ahead and create a request for quotation on Transact. Quickly, let's go to our quotation model. Now here, on your right hand side in the very top side, you will get an option of create document. Click on this. Now I will get an option of request for quotation. I will select this request for quotation. This is my request for quotation format, which get open in front of me. Now, these are some of the primary document details which are auto fetched from the settings module, like the document number, bidding start date. You need to go ahead and just put the delivery date. So the delivery date, which is required, that is of 31st of July. The bidding end date, which I am finalizing, that is of 16th of July. You can will go ahead and select the store as well, that in which store the purchase will be made. Now, coming below the company name. So in request for quotation, either you can go ahead and send a quotation to one counterparty or you can go ahead and send a quotation for multiple companies as well, multiple suppliers as well. So currently I am going ahead and creating a request for quotation for two of the suppliers. One, I'm selecting the Brilliant Engineering Private Limited. Another, I'm selecting a three Abay Hoist and Engineering. Now, going below, I will go ahead and define the item. So currently, I am just give, raising an inquiry for my grey wire purchase. So I will simply go ahead and select this. I will go ahead and put the quantity here. So I would be requiring 280 meter of wires. You can go ahead and put any comment in this. You can also attach any attachment, additional detail and comment into this. Now, going below, I will get an option of save as draft and save and send. So in this scenario, I'm going ahead and simply saving and sending this document to send this request for quotation to both of my suppliers. Once I will click on save and send, please have a look. This is the request for quotation, which is created in my system, in my transact now. Now, going below, just have a look. So suppose you have sent a request for quotation to your suppliers and then after they provided you a price for the item so what you need to do suppose you have got the price from both the suppliers so in both scenario you need to go ahead and click on punch quotation so once you will go ahead and click on punch quotation it will go ahead and punch a sales quotation in transact which will be reflecting that this is the price which they have suggested now after that you can go ahead and create a purchase order as well so this is how a request for quotation is generated in transact and then after the further moving document like purchase order and remaining documents are created. I hope it helped you out. Have a good day.